Yes, I'm Dan Olds. We're here at T Platforms, the pride of the so of Russia, not the Soviet Union anymore, the pride of Russia. With uh, you guys had quite an announcement here with being one of the uh, uh, vendors that uh, announced support for Fermi, and you've got a pretty innovative design that we've been talking about. I'm finally started to roll some film. So, Alexi, what are we looking at here? So. Uh, you, you are exactly on the spot that it is an innovative design. What we came coming up with is a world's densest technology in terms of compute power that you can pack into a single compute chassis. Uh -huh. Here's on a display, you, you have the Tesla-based uh, newest uh, node that we just introduced. What you, what's interesting about that design is that we have two GPGPU modules that are called NVIDIA Tesla X2070. Uh -huh. These are late market only, and we are first to market with uh, with this technology being introduced. You put one here and one there, and oh, basically, okay. what happens is that we do not compromise on the uh, on the uh, throughput. It's very dense. You have 16 blades like this in a chassis. Well, and that's the point, though, is that this is the blade. There's not a carrier underneath it. There's not a thick metal that gives it the rigidity. You're getting the rigidity from I'm focusing in on this. That's the heat sink that is exactly the same size. And you attach the heat sink, and that's your rail, and it's your your rigidity for the board, right? Exactly. It's an M uh, EMI shield. And an EMI shield, too. We, we just snap the each blade in and out of the chassis. And yes, it's a very complex design. We actually, if I just turn sure. the page, we actually spent uh, uh, quite some time to do the thermal simulations uh, sure. in order to achieve best uh, you know, weight to effectiveness uh, ratio because this thing should not be very heavy. Uh, just to keep the, the system weight down. Okay. So ba basically, what we came up with is a 16 blades in the 7U. Uh, you get uh, your 32 GPU cars per 7U, which is unheard of. That's a pretty big number. And we did not compromise on design. So what we have is a separate North Bridge with PCI Express 36 lane generation 2 per GPU. Oh. Not only this, but we also have a single port Connectix InfiniBand, or QDR InfiniBand port, per GPU. So it's a bandwidth baby. Uh, wow. It gives you, if you think about the system spec and uh, what it gives you, we're targeting the largest institutions uh, that are really concerned with performance per watt, with performance as is, and with a density. Because it gives you a petaflop, just think of it, a petaflop in, with less than 10 computer racks, 42 computer racks. Um, now, what I really want to stress here is that you have 17.5 teraflops per chassis, 7 new chassis. You get the best performance per watt. It's going to top the IBM system, we believe, uh, yeah. on the Green 500 because you get 14, 50 megaflops per watt, which is amazing number. And uh, it's a very high, close to theoretical bandwidth solution. One thing the public has to be aware of, it's not a general market box. No, no, no. Uh, first of all, we do have a special InfiniBand, uh, not InfiniBand, but special HPC networks. The MPI collective operations require you know, a synchronization of the calls uh, just to have the jobs running yeah. parallel on a very high number of nodes. So as soon as you start speaking or thinking of, say, 10,000 nodes, you want to make sure your MPI stack is effective. And we have a specially programmed FPGA controlling that. So we have a special service network to synchronize the jobs on the nodes. And we also have global, so-called global interrupt network that can also be employed to actually make the collective operations more so effective. So some secret sauce beyond just the hardware. It's not an infrastructure server. It's, no. um, we, we don't see as much competition. And our issue is the technology is perfect. It is how to make it available uh -huh. and how to make sure that uh, you know we have the service support on the ground and people who can actually really proactively help our, our potential customers. And you're coming to, you're spreading into Western Europe and into the U.S. At this point, is that coming? Is that well, happening it, now? A very good question. Uh, we, our targeted market is Western Europe. Okay. However, here at GTC, it becomes, became apparent 
that we have a very good potential for that system sure. in Northern America. Now we have to make sure we are, you know, we are not overstretched. So no. that makes that, sense. The idea is to understand, so, you know, our customer ground, the uh, customer base here, and get one or two uh, partners signed up. Sure. This is the plan going forward. And you might as well market here because this is where an awful lot of the Western European buyers will come. I mean, to uh, events like this, but like SC10 in New Orleans. You guys going to be there? Yes, we are. Good. Uh, we're not sure yet about the booth, but we're definitely going to have this technology on the display uh, with one of our uh, partners. Good, good. Well, this is a great design. Uh, thank you for showing it to me, and um, hopefully at SC10 you can have a bigger system. A little something? It's only 7U. You can get that on a plane. No, that's the idea going forward. We Just want to bring handle this system on it. there. Yeah, exactly. yeah. Exactly. We will. Doesn't have to work, but let's see what the mechanicals look like. Well, the good thing Might as well have it work, though. If you're going to I carry can tell it that you, far. The, the best thing about this thing, uh, this system, is that the chassis, the enclosure, which is T-Blade T 2 platform, it's uh -huh. already been deployed in NAS. We have 4,600 nodes based on the Xeon inside the chassis at the Moscow State University, okay. which is number 13 on the top 500. That's pretty good, yeah. So the, the chassis is there. It's just a new node that we introduce. And once we actually validate that fully, certify for the local market, we hope to, have, to get some traction. Good. Well, thank you very much for the time. Appreciate it. We'll see you in New Orleans uh, next month after next. Absolutely. We'll see you there. Thanks. Bye-bye. Thank you.